Hey everybody, it's Steven with a PH at Rip Fan 8. I'm here tonight to do a recap of the Philly show that I attended this past weekend. Now, as you can see, uh, my Jackie Robinson 1947 Bond bread in the picture. Um, that was my huge pickup for the uh, for the weekend. But uh, it was a very, uh, very enjoyable weekend and very successful weekend in some of the pickups I have. Um, before I get into uh, going over a review of the weekend, I'm going to uh, show you two pickups I made Sunday morning before I left to come back home to Canada. I had two uh, two cards I was interested in, and uh, I was debating Saturday night going through some information to see uh, how I'll approach uh, the dealer to try to uh, make this work. Um, as it turned out, uh, he was very receptive. Uh, there were two young men, JB and Dalen, of uh, Vintage Sports Cards Legacy Cards. Um, uh, it took a few few minutes and five ten minutes at least of uh, bartering back and forth, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, all was said and done. Uh, by nine ten Sunday morning, I picked up my last two uh, cards, and I'm very excited with them. Uh, without further ado, um, the first one was another 1947 Bond bread, similar to the Jackie that you see uh, in the picture. But this one is an SGC-5 Ted Williams. Now, as you can see, it's a beauty. Um, I, was, uh, I was eyeing it up after I saw the Jackie card. And I'm thinking, I saw this on Saturday. And I thought uh, to go along with my Jackie card, it'd be a wonderful addition uh, to get the Ted Williams. It's a really super grade. It's, uh, it's a five. Uh, it's got the white backing, which uh, is super important, but it's uh, it's absolutely wonderful. It's a sharp card, and I was pretty, pretty pleased. Now, in saying that, I packaged that card, or this card, this Ted Williams card, with one other card. Um, so, uh, these were the two cards I was eyeing from Saturday. Um, the next card was a 1956 white back. Jackie Robinson. It is an SGC 4.5. It is a gorgeous card. It is super sharp. It is very bright, very excellent registration. Just a colorful, colorful card. Um, the only uh, thing is obviously from the picture you can see is the centering. The centering left to right and top to bottom, somewhat similar. Uh, it uh, might be 70-30 at best possibly. And the bottom seems to be a little better than that. But I packaged these two cards Sunday morning. By 9-10, I was finished. I was spent. And I was on my way back to Canada, the eight-hour trek. So, in saying that, I'd like to um, give a shout out to uh, the Philadelphia area. I stayed on the just on the outskirts of where the um, Oaks was, where the Expo was, uh, in Phoenixville. I stayed at a hotel in downtown Phoenixville, Phoenixville, pardon me, and uh, really nice hotel, pretty decent customer service. The unfortunate part was. This weekend that I was there, they had the street blocked off from a corridor of four block stretch for, I guess, uh, a weekend party or whatever they were doing. So uh, parking was hard, but uh, I managed even in the poor weather. So uh, it was, uh, the stay was very nice. So getting on to the uh, the weekend, um, the review of the weekend, um, as you've seen uh, from my uh, two previous day one and day two uh, uh, vids, uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful show. There was a large selection of vintage, uh, a really good selection of modern, which I didn't really take a lot of look at. I would, because I was interested in obviously in the vintage. Um, I went down with a game plan to somehow start getting some um, 
some Hall of Fame rookie cards, and there were plenty there to get for reasonable prices. But good fortune for me on the Friday night, as you can see that Jackie card staring at me, uh, it changed my whole pattern because once I uh, once I saw this Jackie card, I went back into uh, the old mode of uh, Jackie looking for some Jackie cards and for my run and uh, just uh, I started just scoping out vintage cards such as the Ted Williams you saw me show you just recently or earlier and another Jackie run. So now I have the 52. Pardon me, I stand corrected. I have the 53 that I submitted to SGC this weekend, Tops 53 Jackie. I have a Tops 54, I have a Tops 55, I now have the Tops 56, I now have the 47 Bond Bread, Rounded Corners, which is excellent. If you watched my video yesterday, you would have saw that I also purchased the square edge one and there seems to be some um i guess some discrepancy whether it was what year it really did come out uh even though it uh it looks like the similar 47 i have showing right here um more and more information i'm gathering from uh from some individuals from some youtubers it's a uh, uh possibly would have came out on 49. Um, if anyone has any information on the square edge one, uh, please feel free to, to uh, comment below. So I just want to say I had a wonderful time. Uh, it was a, a really nice trip. It was a long trek. It was an eight hour drive back and forth. Uh, the weather wasn't that nice, but inside it was dry and it was wonderful. Uh, the dealers were good. It was uh, it, it just a wonderful weekend. Um, I do want to send out before I uh, before I sign off here. Um, I do want to sign out uh, with uh, saying thank you very very much again to a fellow uh, uh, YouTuber, Sammy at Sammy Thunder. Sammy, uh, it was an absolute pleasure. Just an absolute pleasure uh, meeting you, talking to you. Uh, I, I was fortunate I saw you when you came into the little food area. Uh, you came over and sat down, showed me, had a little conversation. I saw you on the floor when you were looking at, uh, since your video was posted, that stamp. I mean, it was just absolutely wonderful. I look so forward to the next time we can meet and uh, we can have a, a longer chat maybe. Uh, if it's not till the Nationals, heck. We'll have a great time down there together, I hope. Um, anyways, I'd like to say thank you to everyone uh, for watching. Um, if there's any comments or any questions, uh, please feel free to let me know. And I appreciate everything. And uh, I look forward to the next, uh, the next trip down south uh, across the border to some really excellent shows down there. Because there's very limited stuff up here in Canada. So, uh, again... Thank you very much, and, and I really want to say I am so happy with my, my weekend and my purchases this week, and i still still a little, uh, uh, you know, excited with, uh, with what I'm looking right in front of me, these three cards, plus a couple other little things I picked up were just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I'm, I'm so tickled pink. So uh, thank you very much, everyone, and uh, have a good evening, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye.